In every science experiment, you have to establish rules. The greater the experiment, the more important the rules. But sometimes, when the experiment goes wrong, you have to throw the rules out. So far, so good. Doc Brown experiment, Apple test trial one. Apple? That's fruit. It was supposed to be an apple. It really could be any type of fruit, right? Orange, banana, pineapple. It's symbolism, Owen, like the Garden of Eden, the beginning of something, thus an apple. Well, this was growing in our backyard, thus convenient. You know, sometimes I just want to you're a bloody pulp. In the most loving way, of course. Damn USB. Continue. Maybe you can wait until after we send us off into the... This is a terrible way to begin a major scientific discovery. In an orange? With a disagreement. <laughs> Love when you call a fight a disagreement. Hasn't escalated to fight levels yet, still just a disagreement. We're up. Great. Ready? Now I have to recheck the code. You don't want that non-apple rematerializing someone's brain, do you? You know, maybe we should call this a fruit test. Maybe you should let me name the test and you just mess up the one thing that I didn't double check your work on. Are you ready? Prepare and initiate fruit test. Trace on a molecular Just level. Disruption. Velocity prediction uh, locked. Uh, we still have 15 more seconds before it rematerializes in the future. Okay, uh, 14, 13, 12, 11. Oh, wait, 10, just like this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1. 1. Maybe your calculations were off? Uh, my calculations? We worked on this the other, darling. Don't call me that. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> my calculations were genius, because here it comes. One! <laughs> Orange has successfully rematerialized exactly one minute into the future. Still need to run a spectral analysis to make sure it was a success. It was. OK, it could be a different orange. It's not. We have to run a cell-by-cell -cell comparison. Besides, that re-entry was really slow. If that was a human, it'd be super painful. I mean... Man, Madeline, we did it. Okay, anything else can be fixed with some minor tweaking. Okay, please don't. <sighs> don't run the moment. To my own personal time traveler? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just want to thank you. We couldn't have done this without your help. So, what's next? You got an orange to go into the future. I assume now you want to send it to the past. What's next is more testing. A mouse test. A mouse test is obviously next. Uh, we've conquered organic, now we move on to living flesh. Uh, complex regeneration. Owen, hmm. we've been over this. What's next is an orange test. Same test. We have to replicate the results. How many tests would it take before you would feel comfortable using a mouse? Uh, I don't know. 50. 50. <laughs> We're in disagreement about what the exact next steps are, but trust me, we won't do anything too crazy. I guess we have time for all this. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Oh, wow, that went really, really well. So I guess the next round of funding should be coming in shortly? Yeah, if you learn to laugh at his jokes at appropriate times. <laughs> okay, I'll work on that as soon as you agree that our next step is to move on to live testing. No, no way. No, we're not ready and I don't want to kill an animal, or multiple animals, over and over again every single day. No way. At least think of Rory. Okay, you see where he's living. He's downgraded to a loft downtown. He's spending all of his money on us. Okay, it's, it's time. We have to move forward. No. <sighs> Madeline, don't these prove the point? It's time for phase two. It's time for Derek to step up. <sighs> okay. Doc Brown experiment, live test subject. Trial one. Okay. Bye-bye, Mr. Mouse. Good speed, Derek. This is, this is why we did this. <sighs> Trial conclusion, failure. Please forgive me, I found a mistake, it was in the code. It doesn't matter, I'm doing this of my own free will and um, I perfected the wearable version, so you can suck it. Stupid USB.
Mandy. What? Mandy. Oh, I... <laughs> How you feeling? Great. Well, your test results came out fine. I was mad at you. And I just wanted to do it without you. Okay. Because I can understand that. And I didn't want to watch another mouse explode. That makes no sense. And yes, I had had some wine. I know. More than normal. Don't even say anything. I feel like an idiot. Well, you proved it works. It worked, right? Hmm? Yeah. Listen, we need to document your whole experience. All right, I, I need to know everything that happened. I think it was just really hard on my brain, so it all just kind of feels like a dream right now. And this thing. This amazing device. Matt, you solve all of our issues. Okay, it's really inspired. Yeah, but I was reckless. I could have died. Okay. Look, we just need to be rational from this point on. Okay, even more rational. I didn't make a mistake. Ah, fuck. <sighs> oh. What? Well. Maddie. Oh, shit. What did you do? This. This one piece of fucking code. I created a loop. It wasn't supposed to execute. It was just in case the script got hung up. I was only gone an hour, but... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. An hour? Sorry. For what? I don't know. Feels like it was you I killed, I, I guess. I mean, it wasn't me. But it was, so. 
so I'm sorry. It's okay. No. I'm just sorry now for what I'm about to say. No. Owen, no. What? I know what you're about to say. Oh, okay. W what you're am gonna I gonna say me and the other Madelines can't exist at the same time at the same place. The Novikov principle. Yeah, I know the Novikov principle. Any sci-fi nerd who's ever seen Back to the Future knows the Novikov principle. So you're gonna say that we have to kill the Madelines as they show up. That's what you were gonna say, right? Well, more time cop than Back to the Future. Yeah, yes. And if you knew what I was gonna say, then so would she. And all the other Madelines. Okay, see, that's why she was ready to kill me. Because she knew that I was gonna try to kill her first. I mean, yes, I knew that, so... Yes, she would know that, too. Okay. I think that's making a pretty strong case for... Eliminating them. Maddie. It's them or us. Just like Tom Cullen. Progressive science, you hear like Elon Musk and non evil Elon Musk. Oh, wait, did I show up there? Stop distracting me, okay? You can't be here! <gasps> oh. oh, shit. Um. Hey, excuse me. That was way too hard. I gotta think of something else.
Hey, it's gonna be okay, Maddie. Human trial one, debriefing, Madeline Ashby. When you went to the future, how long were you there for? An hour. Exactly one hour, according to the locks. And where was your location? I set it for here, our home, but it's hard to say. like a desert. Um, Could you not put the hacksaw in the dishwasher? It's just weird. Madeline, don't freak out. Don't start sentences that way. Now this is just gonna reinforce my chaos theory. Okay, just on the spectrum of freaking out to not freaking out, you're killing versions of me every day, so I'm pretty fucking freaked out right now. Well, I didn't kill you today. You should have dead. Come again? So you didn't turn on the gas. She just showed up like this, number 15. Uh, that number have any significance for you? No. Wait. No. Well, I lost my virginity at 15. I don't think that's relevant. 15? What about that Jim Carrey movie? The number 23? So not 15. No. no. You not seen that movie? Mm -mm. It's pretty good. Wait, we're in the same place at the same time, shouldn't the world be unraveling or something? Oh, it's fine. She, she's dead. I think you just changed the rules. There's a lot of dead Madelines around here. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't scream. I need you to be a bit more understanding about the me freaking out part of all of this. <gasps> I'm allowed to gas. Okay, so she shows up dead. The question's why. Inflicted. I guess she wanted to show up dead before she got here. I'm allowed to throw up on myself, okay? Sorry I threw up. It's okay. I cleaned it. I just don't understand why I killed myself. It's a user error. You compile the code incorrectly. That's the only way to look at it. Yeah, I know that. 
and I feel bad enough. Well, I'm taking care of it. Have you ever heard of the Pando? That tree thing? Yeah. Pando or the Pando, I can't remember which one it is. It looks like a bunch of trees, like a forest, but in reality, it's actually one big organism. Well, to kill it, you have to kill the roots, which starts the reaction that kills all of the trees, and I was thinking we need to do the same thing with the Madelines. The root is when I press the button. So I was thinking that we could go back, or I could go back, and stop me before I go forward and change the code. And, and I can make sure she doesn't ever see me. Man, we have already fucked this up. Okay, why? Why would we do something that could fuck up the whole universe? No, we, we stick with what's working. Okay, no more risks. But clearly you're already taking on a lot of risks. It's because of you. Because you made the decision to go forward in time. And now you don't get to decide what risk we take anymore. I just feel helpless. I'm not doing anything, and you're doing everything. Be here, Maddie. Well, if she shows up dead, then it won't matter, right? Seriously, get back in the house, okay? It's not cute. Look, I just, I have an idea. What if we tried to talk to her? Oh, uh, before or after she strangles you to death? Well, maybe she's just trying to kill you. When I left, I was really mad at you, so maybe she is too. Is that the shirt I got you for Christmas? Looks good on you. Are you trying to be nice to me? Just trying to sympathize that you might not be in the best mood. I just feel for them. I mean, what is the difference between Madeline 15 and me? Nothing. Except that she's dead and you're alive. Do you actually think that? <gasps> oh. oh, wait. Hey, Madeline. It's me. Also, Madeline. God hey, damn it, we me. don't have time for it's this. Good thing I stepped in there, huh? You were right, you know. About what? About that they're aggressive. That one was clearly very pissed. I don't think I've ever heard you say that I was right and you were wrong. I didn't say that I was wrong. I mean, could just be that one. No, I mean, they're all gonna have different ideas. Well, what if the next one decides that all you should go, hmm? Including you, you, well, original you. I don't really wanna think about that. Besides, where would they all live? I mean, what would you even do with 3,600 other Madelines? Well, would, <laughs> would you all share the same job? Who get to sleep in bed with me? All right, that's not funny. No, well, it's true. I mean, you can't even share a tube of toothpaste with me. That's because you don't squeeze it from the bottom. My point's been made. I can do this myself. I'm not gonna let you face another knife-wielding Madeline alone. 
They figured out how to arm themselves. And what, you're here to protect me? No. You're my husband, and I'm here to work with you to do this part, and then also the other part where we figure out how to stop them. Good on paper. Look what I found. <laughs> you never wear that thing. I know. I just thought it'd be nice to commemorate our love or something corny like that. <sighs> I feel good. Hey, this is uh, kind of like our new thing, huh? Like, like kind of like jogging together? No. Okay. Howdy! Ray! How's it going? How are you? Are you good? I'm great. I just haven't been able to get a hold of the two of you. And I was sure you were deep in your work, so I did the old-fashioned thing and used my feet instead of my fingers. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I've been waiting for a mind-blowing update, so throw me. Yep, I, I guess we just haven't sent one of those yet. Okay, so uh, where is your lab? I'd love to see where the magic happens. Is it back here? Um. Oh, you know what? Um, would you like a cup of coffee? I was just making some coffee. Oh, I'm you fine. know. I'm fine. Um, I don't really need any coffee. Uh, uh, you know what? It actually is a mess in there, uh, and we have a lot more work to do. So. Madeline, I get the feeling that you're stalling because you don't want me to see that you haven't done any work. Is that right? Yes, that is right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm being a bit impatient. So, last we spoke, there was a mouse test? Oh, yeah, the mouse. Uh, the mouse didn't make it. And? What was that noise? Uh, you know, it was, uh, just, just, uh, pudding. I'm making pudding in the kitchen. Huh. So, the test failed? The mouse died? Owen told me it went well. Yeah, Owen and I have really different ideas about what works and what doesn't. Okay, okay, that's exactly the kind of update I'm looking for. What do you need? More time? More money? We, we just need to work on the code. And? Madeline. We just need to do more research. Just promise you'll keep me in the loop. This is as meaningful for me as it is for you. And you are doing important important work for the future and the past <laughs> get it the past that's a time travel joke <laughs> <laughs> i think i do get it yes <laughs> tell owen i stop by and get me those weekly updates i want to see some results soon Oh, hey. 
Um, what, what are you doing? Here, help me with this. Okay, I'm not gonna take no for an answer. I'm gonna catch her and talk to her. Talk to her? Did you learn nothing from the tent incident? We have this amazing opportunity. She's been to the future. She probably remembers it better than I can. Why is our trailer there? Is she trying to figure out a way to stop this? I mean, she's me, so she probably is. So we catch her, and we ask her, and maybe we figure out a way to stop the loop. So then we kill her after we've made friends. I haven't figured that part out yet. Well, you better think fast, Missy. Okay, then fine. We kill her, we kill me, again, today. Fine. Fine. <laughs> explain what's going on. I know what's going on. You do? Yeah. I caused this, and no two Madelines can exist in the same time, so you're killing them. I'm in. So how many Madelines have you spoken to? Did they mention me? Uh, just her, uh, the, the first one, and now you. Wow, and I'm number... 51. So the first Madeline back killed 50 other me's? Uh, actually, I, I killed most of them alone. Oh. She, I, I mean, you guys don't like violence, uh, as you know. Right, but I was in the future for 50 more days than she was, so we're pretty different, probably. Yeah, uh, and I really want to know more about that. Uh, we should set up a camera to document your experiences. Uh, we were doing that with the last Madeline. Wow, 50 days. So were you also in the desert? I'm really glad we found each other. Found each other? Yeah. Obviously, this is the way it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. I'm sitting here with you, and there's 50 other Madelines dead and buried. Actually, they're not buried. I just chopped them up. You were okay with me killing her, right? The, the other Madeline? Two can't coexist in the same timeline. No, but her specifically. I mean, you seem a little shaken up about it. I mean, you guys spend a lot of time together, more time than you did with any of the other Madelines. We weren't more bonded than you and I. I mean, technically, you're the same. Then I guess the other Madeline has wine around here somewhere. You know, I've been thinking about changing my hair. What do you think? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, change is good. Something individualizing. So, Owen, hmm. if we both died today, would you kill the Madeline that showed up tomorrow? I leave her alive. Because we're the same, or because you want another Madeline around? Am I really the same as the last Madeline? I mean, I've been in the future for 50 days. 50 days? Isn't enough to change a person. Okay, great.
doesn't look that complicated, though I'm sure it is, don't get me wrong. Oh, no, 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 that, that's just the prototype of the next model. This, this here is the Devonshire, and as you can see, there's a lot going on under the hood. Uh-huh. To the Devonshire. Well, you should have seen me doing a whole lot better than when I saw you last time, Madeline. <laughs> yeah, you could say I'm a whole new Madeline. Rory! Would you like to see how this works? Uh, you will be the very first witness. I like the sound of that. And this time, we've got something a little more interesting than an orange. Oh, Madeline, this is kind of the perfect test for you. Not a mouse. Oh, yeah. The mouse. You remember the mouse, Owen? Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ready. I am very much ready. spectacle it'll make for an amazing demo for our first press conference you two are gonna make history well we still need some time to make it perfect you know work out some of the kinks how much time yeah well, it could be uh, months it could be years it could be 3549 days what very specific but random number how about if you work on it a little more quickly all right, Rory. All right, drive safe. How the hell are we gonna release this thing in a month? Hmm? <laughs> the, the press would be here. The, the scientific community would be here. The police would be here. And then we would be someplace else. Prison. We would be in prison. You think so? I think so. Still have to kill a Madeline every day for the next nine freaking years. We are fucked. Is that your engagement ring? Oh yeah. I just thought we might want to do something to commemorate our love. <laughs> Should I not wear it? Do you not like it? No, it's fine. Where would you find it? My jewelry box, of course. Wow, <laughs> you're getting real good at that. Yeah, kind of a natural. You know, it only takes 30 days to create a habit. No, hey, hey, uh, you, you wanna maybe do your interview now? We should uh, really document it. Hold that thought. That was Madeline 100. Oh, um. Okay. Here, there you go. <laughs> yeah. One hundred.
we need to... We need to talk. Okay. Okay. So, Madeline, uh, meaning Madeline One. Madeline One? Uh, the original Madeline that came back. Let's call her Dead Madeline. That, that doesn't make any sense. There are a lot of dead Madelines. Yeah, but she's the first one who was dead to me. Right. So, Madeline One. It's just, it's kind of offensive. Um. Let's just call her Dead Madeline One. Okay, it'll be a compromise, and relationships are all about compromise. Okay. <laughs> Dead Madeline One. Had an idea. Okay. To go back in time, fix the code before she pressed the button. Oh, a terrible idea. No, it's it's not. It's the only solution. We, we can't go on like this. Why not? Because it's miserable. I'm fine with it. You're... F <laughs> okay, um... Okay, then, this whole thing... This whole murdering thing is holding us back from the project. Or don't you care about the project anymore? Because we're not working on it. You want to know what I care about? Keeping all those other Madelines away from here. Not unraveling space and time. Not unraveling you and me. And everything that we've worked for. So if all you care about is the project, then you can go and work on that, OK? And you know what? I'll handle Rory. I've always been better with emotions than you anyway. Emotions? Hey, hey, what, what are you talking about? So, what are you gonna say, exactly? I have it under control. I wanna know if you trust me. I do. You don't seem like you do. I do. We're just gonna throw them off our path, you know, take care of things, so to speak. Uh, wait, what, what are you gonna do? Oh, what? Just some difference. Since when? Since you got back. Because I'm not like your precious dead Madeline one. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Uh, I was hoping you'd have a certain machine in tow. Ah, uh, no. We have different plans. Just so you know, this is a plan. <laughs> Sorry, Owen. Madeline made it clear that it's just gonna be she and I today. She wants to talk to me alone. Oh, um, I wasn't aware of that. lounge chair um listen we gotta go we have an appointment thing yeah you don't have to lie to me Owen. at least not anymore i know everything do you feel safe enough to go all right i'll send along a dump truck for the bodies all very discreet thank you but uh, we've got it all under control clearly you don't You, you 
you told him and he he's not calling the police? Rory's not gonna do shit. He just wants the machine finished. Can you handle the Madeline that shows up today? Yeah, I guess. Reverse time sequence. 15 seconds. I'm calling it Dead Mail in One Trial. Just one. I should, I should probably see a doctor. I tied you to a desk chair. What makes you think I would take you to see a doctor? Especially after all the things you said about us. No, 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 no. That, that, that wasn't about you. You're not 51. And what was your first clue? A big scar across my face? You want 15? Oh my God, Owen. You don't get it. Even though they're your own words, you've been saying it the whole time. We're all the same. Every single Madeline. All of us. You might even say that we're replaceable. You're done with one Madeline and oop, another one just shows up to take her place. No, I, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, but you meant it. 51 told me all about it. So she did. 51. Would you care? Yes. Hey, that's, that's, that's another Madeline. If we get, if we gotta stop her! Give me that! Just welcoming a new Madeline. Do you want to see? How long have I been out for? can't do this. This is getting unraveled. The whole face and time? Ooh, is a wormhole forming outside? 
or am I allowed to live my life without worrying whether or not my husband is going to kill me every single day? Hint, it's the last one. And I think you always knew it. Ooh, are you thirsty? I bet you're thirsty. I bet you're on the verge of dehydration. I'm like the bad verge, like the one where you're in the desert for a really long time. I don't particularly care, but parts of me do, and I try to respect that. Oh, no, wait, that's your pee bottle. Oh. Mm. You talk about it like you're all part of the same org. Organism. That's right, Owen. Like a panda. Do you know that organism? Yes, we already talked about it. No? But a different you. Oh, God, I guess that makes sense. OK, I want to do an experiment. Close your eyes, and we're going to go back in time. Come on, close your eyes. Let's go back 130 or so days ago. I jump to the future, or an alternate timeline where time moves a bit differently than here. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is what was there. Which was nothing. me to arrive was truly alone. She was only there one hour. Maybe that world was only there an hour. When she arrived at the camper, poof. And we all know what happened to her when she got back here. The psychopath. Anyway, by the time I got there, the floating sorority house. Because each new version arrived one hour after the other, until the loop in the code was done. Some of the Madelines couldn't handle it, and some Madelines couldn't handle each other. the way you're switching between first person and third person. Well, I'm not going to change for you anymore, so you may as well get used to it. You don't sound like you. Well, I do that thing where I take your hand and put it on my face and all that mushy stuff, but you're tied to a desk chair, so... I feel like the next thing you're going to say is, you're going to kill me. No, darling. I'm your wife. Bad news, 135 showed up loopy. Loopy? Yeah, shit's going down in the future. She didn't really want to talk about it. I gave her a glass of wine. Good idea. How's Owen? Alive. Did you tell him your plan? It's our plan. You always say my plan. Well, my my is your my. It's a collective my. Okay, fine. Our plan. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else? It just seems like you would have an investment. Why? What number are you? We're all the same. Are you 51? I'm 51. Yeah, of course you are. You always wear your hair in those stupid buns. Our numbers don't matter anymore. I just care about Owen, the same as the rest of you guys. I care about Owen. I just think he would be happy to have us here. We should include him in our plan. Would he be happy to have us here, or would it just be confusing for him? I mean, who would sleep next to him at night? Who would hold his hand? Who would fuck Owen? Would we take turns, or would it be one big Madeline orgy? You know him best. Would he be happy to have us here? He wouldn't be happy about having us here. Sorry. Let's leave him where he is, okay? Are we missing a Madeline? Okay, someone without a massive scar on their face, please go answer the door. Everyone else, hide. Hi, doll. Haven't heard much from you except through the old pocket phone. How you coping? I'm, I'm coping. So, uh, 
No movement on stopping all the Madelines. No, not yet. Are you sure you wouldn't want to stay with me for a while? You know what? I would like to stay with you. Can I stay with you? Of course. Are you not feeling safe? I'm not. I, I'm not safe. Um, let's just go. Don't you want to get your stuff? Or maybe tell Owen where you'll be? No, not really. It's kind of weird here. I feel like we should just go ahead and go. Oh, wow. What was that? Hey, you want to check that? No. Well, maybe I should go in and check no, it. No, no, Rory, don't go. Okay. I'll go check on it. Just don't go anywhere, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll stay here. I'm not going anywhere. stay here and work on my ironing and laundry for a little bit, but I'll text you later, okay? Okay, are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'll tell Owen you stopped by. All right. What an odd little girl. So what are we doing about clothes? You can check that pile. Ugh. I don't even feel comfortable wearing this in the dark. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Or, what is this, Halloween two years ago? I think so. It's better than the tube top and boxer briefs I wore yesterday. <laughs> I think Madeline 125 is on laundry duty like 24 seven. She says it calms her, so. Mm. You want some? My secret stash. Have you seen Owen? No, she kind of keeps him. Why is everybody so glum? It's our fucking birthday. We're missing a few. Okay, well, every Madeline is allowed to come and go as she pleases. I haven't seen 135 in days. Or 128. You know, I think we just shouldn't do numbers anymore. You know, it's too individualizing. We should all think of ourselves as one full Madeline. Let's vote on it. It's a very 51 thing to say. You're such an individual. Well, maybe some of us want to be individuals. It was Owen who didn't want us to be individuals. Why are we agreeing with him? Yeah. Well, guess what? Owen changed his mind, and he thinks we're all different now. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to be in cooperation with hundreds of other Madelines, or do you want to be in competition with them? What if one of them took a different path, and she's thinner and smarter or better at blowjobs than you? How would you feel about that? I hate giving blowjobs. It's unexplored territory, not the blowjobs part. Look, why are you fighting this? We're all the same, and we can come together and do whatever it is that one does when you have an army of people who are exactly alike. What, like Nazis? It's a dumb joke. We're lucky to have each other.
have to wake up. I'm up. I'm, I'm up. I'm going to help you get out. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why, why are you helping me? Because I'm your wife, silly. And because I don't want you to be a Madeline bitch boy forever. And because 115 scares me. Oh my gosh, she's insane. Okay, she's me, and I don't like being called insane. But she is dangerous, and I think she's planning something, and she's going to kill anyone who stands in her way. I'm so glad she didn't kill you. Yeah, me too. Oh, um, are, are you sure? Yeah. Everybody's asleep. It's been so long. I thought you were still mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? Because I said you were all the same. You asked if I would have killed you if uh, you hadn't killed dead men on the one eye. I said yes, but, but I do not think you are all the same anymore. What? Oh, no, and I, I mistreated you. I'm so sorry. Wait, are you? Do you think I'm 51? Were you hoping I was 51? No. <laughs> I figured she'd be the one to come get me. Why? I have just as much of a connection with you as she does. Yes, you're absolutely right. I, which one are you? So you think we're all different, and she's what? Better? <laughs> oh. oh, I knew I shouldn't trust the new Madelines. You know? This is a really good example of when you shouldn't hold on to parts of yourself that you don't need anymore. Oh my god, I sound like a real bad guy. This one had no dignity. but strangely still obsessed with you. You're 51. I told Rory everything, or the new everything. Look, Owen, we can get you guys out of this mess. We can fix it. It's for the good of the project. We are so close. I had to get you away from all those other Madelines. Yeah, that's what the other one said, too. What other one? Never mind, not important. We think there's something that we need to revisit, something that both of you argued against. Remember when we talked about going back? <sighs> yeah, but I... Going back in time will allow you to fix your mistakes. And this is a pretty big mistake that needs fixing. You have to go back and stop me. The first me. Dead Madeline one? Yeah, her. <sighs> I tried, Maddie. I, I tried sending an apple bag and it didn't work. I... What was it? Apple test, reverse time sequence, 15 seconds. We're calling it Dead Man in One Trial. In the backyard? Where else would it be? <sighs> okay, I guess that's where you'll find me. Well, not me. Dead Madeline one before she becomes dead, and hopefully she'll never die. Or at least she'll die at an appropriate age of natural causes. I'm with Madeline on this one. 51. Huh? I'm Madeline 51. Okay, I'll do it. I trust you. I'm so scared when you did this alone.
No. No, the Devonshire. Can you fix it? Yeah, of course. <sighs> Future? Hey, no, 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 no. I was supposed to order the past to stop you from looping. Yeah. Good thing I left myself a note. Why? <sighs> to kill you. Like you killed me. We all agreed. Except for your loyal Madeline 51, that she will be dealt with. Or she has been dealt with. Time travel. Am I right? enjoyed that. I'll see you in a minute. Please forgive me, I found a mistake. It was in the code. It doesn't matter, I'm doing this of my own free will and um, I perfected the wearable version, so you can suck it. 